Today's first reading from the book of Esther presents one of the most beautiful prayers in the Old Testament. Esther has risen from humble beginnings to become the queen of the Persian king, then the world's most powerful ruler. Even so, she must trust in God's strength to deliver her people from extermination. She cannot do this by herself. Like Esther, we pray not because God lacks information that only we can provide. We pray because genuine prayer opens our hearts more widely to accept God's grace and action in our lives. Like Esther, we pray as a preparation for action, not a substitute for it. Esther's prayer enabled her to come into the king's presence without an invitation which could have cost her life. And yet there was that deep and full trust in God. Doug Hammer Show, once Secretary General of the United Nations, wrote, The longest journey of any person is the journey in war. Queen Esther made that journey when she recognized God as her rock-solid foundation. Honest, persevering prayer is part of our journey inward during this Lent because it will help us to name anything that we may be tempted to accept as more important than God. And so, we can examine ourselves. Do our prayers express what we, who we really are? Do they reflect a journey inward to recognize the true source of our freedom, strength, and dignity? as people made in God's image and likeness. In the Gospel, Jesus continues his Sermon on the Mount by encouraging us to be persistent in our prayer. And sometimes we pray as desperately as Esther, yet most of us have sometimes felt God just wasn't listening. So there are two ways of praying persistently. One can be insistent, troublesome in praying before God, but he focuses on himself. And yet, we are asked just to focus on our beloved God, on whom we totally depend. Did you notice that Jesus ends his words about perseverance in prayer with an injunction to do unto others as we would have them do unto us? Maybe we need to learn from Queen Esther and pray at least as hard for the welfare of others as we do for our own needs. And there are plenty of others who need our prayers and maybe a little bit of action on our part as well. There are those who are ill, those who are sick, lonely, depressed, or grieving, or hungry, or burdened with problems. 
when we are faced with challenging crises or situations, let us remember Queen Esther and pray for courage and for a deep faith, total trust in a loving God. If we place ourselves in God's hands, then God's power can work through us in surprising ways. Amen.